Hi guys, it's me, Red. I have actually just spent a long time trying to figure out how I wanted my thumbnail. So please don't judge. I know the background and everything is very bright. My filters are messing up. So let's just get into today's video and I really hope you enjoy it. So let's get on with it. Okay then, so today I'll be doing 11 tips and tricks for making stop motions. Just make sure everything isn't too bright. I've got my computer here. If you follow me on Google Plus, you will know that I had a bit of a breakdown. And my computer wasn't working, but my dad, who was a hero, finally got it fixed. So um, I've got everything on my computer that I need. So let's get on with it. So trick and tip number one the first one is always plan if you remember like a couple of months ago i did do a video on my planning essentials here is my planning book i got it from disneyland paris about a year ago and um that's my number one tip okay then for number two head and leg and arm movements so when i'm moving my doll for a stop motion i will move the arm about that much the head about that much and then the leg I know her outfit's amazing her leg I will move about that much for a walking scene so if you want a really smooth stop motion that's the like measurements I do to be honest they're very small it's just like as much as your hand can move without looking like a large movement Tip number three, to choose your dolls and their outfits to match the mood. I mean, if I was doing a stop motion, which I have already done, a morning routine for Violet Victoria, which I have done, um, if I was to do that, not especially for Violet B Victoria, but if I was doing just a random uh, morning routine, let's say I wouldn't necessarily pick, um, I wouldn't necessarily pick, kit and then get kit to wear a really nice pink fluffy dress kit is our tomboy so for the outfit she would probably wear a football jersey or something and a pair of shorts that's kit because she is a tomboy so if you stick to those rules people will relate to your stop motion a lot more but if i was doing a morning routine i will pick violet victoria because she's our typical girly girl unlike kit who was our typical tomboy so yeah go out and search for ideas this is what i done the other day when i had no video ideas i went on like an hour journey to this um historic town in england it's where shakespeare lived and i went all the way there it's not an hour it's a bit longer than that's really far away and i went there and i just got so many ideas because of how historic the town was and you know if you just go out and search for ideas it really does help especially for stop motion ideas um i just got a nice feel and it's really helping me for my summer stop motion movie so that's always a great idea read books i mean this is where i get most of my stop motion ideas if you read books then you can just imagine i mean that's how i get most of my stop motion ideas i've either watched a movie or i've read a book and it really does help half the time especially if you want something a little bit different you can read a book try and copy some ideas from the book and yeah so then for preparation of your stop motion the next thing that i would definitely recommend doing is um get props ready this is what i've had to do for my stop motion movie oh my gosh guys i've put so much work into all these props it's unbelievable um so um you have to either make props buy props you don't necessarily i mean if it's just a very quick stop motion of your doll walking from one place to another you don't have to have props okay and um then the next thing to do is with your doll make sure that the hair is out of your doll's face i mean she violet victoria is a lot of fray right now but if the fray gets in your doll's face it just i learned this off a very good friend always keep the fray out of your doll's face because it can be really distracting to the viewer i chose violet victoria because her outfit is amazing today i just thought i'd like to point that out and um yeah so always make sure your doll's hair is how you want it to be this one is major 
you need to charge your camera and you need to charge, no, not charge, you need to make room on your memory card. Because nothing is worse when you're doing a stop motion and then you find out you have no room left or you've lost battery charge. I mean, seriously, it's happened to me before and mm, I hate it so much. But you will get through it, so don't worry. Watch the weather, I mean, you don't, it depends, let's say there's a really sad moment in your stop motion, uh, wait for it to be a cold and rainy day and then film it. If it's meant to be a nice happy scenario, wait for the weather to be nice. Time your pictures just right. If you use Windows Live Editing thingy, the free Windows app, if you use that, um, the time that I put my photos on is 0 0.13 seconds, okay? Then you also, this is the last tip, you need to make sure that your audio and your voiceover is correct. I mean, that's, it happened to me and in my car accident, AGSM, I made the stop motion as smooth as I could and then I realised some of the audio was out of place and it just messed up right. But no one noticed it, so, and I've just told you all now. Oh, well you guys won't judge me, I know, but yeah. Okay, so either in today's video or tomorrow's video, I will be doing a sneak peek of my stop motion. I'll be doing a sneak peek of my stop motion movie. So, thanks so much for watching, and if you do see my stop motion movie sneak peek, please comment down below, see what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So go and make stop motions, especially for my giveaway. Selfless promotion. But yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Violet, no, Red and Violet Victoria out. It's always the way. My mum tells me how to change my grades. I want to know how to change my life.